I've now had a chance to review in detail the notes of the call between the President of the United States and the President of Ukraine, as well as the legal opinion um, drafted by the Department of Justice in an effort to prevent the whistleblower complaint from coming to our committee. And I have to say that I'm shocked by both. The notes of the call reflect a conversation far more damning than I or many others had imagined. Uh, it is shocking uh, at another level that the White House uh, would release this, these notes uh, and felt that somehow this would help the President's case or cause. Because what those notes reflect is a classic mafia-like shakedown of a foreign leader. They reflect a Ukrainian president who was desperate for U.S. support, for military support to help that country uh, in a hot war with Putin's Russia. But a president of the United States would interfere with our national security, would interfere with the national security of our ally, and do so for the illicit purpose of trying to advance his election campaign, having already sought foreign help in his first presidential campaign, would now abuse the power of his office yet again, this time to seek the help of another nation in his presidential campaign, is the most fundamental betrayal of his oath of office. Uh, I don't want to get uh, ahead of ourselves here. Um, I think what we have learned, what has been admitted, and now what we see in writing is about as damning as you can imagine. It will be a decision for us when we conclude our investigative work whether to bring this or other matters in the form of articles um, to a vote. And we'll cross that bridge when we come to it.